was the Pfizer COVID vaccine tested on stopping the transmission of the virus before it entered the market? If not, please say it clearly. If yes, are you willing to share the data with this committee? And I really want a straight answer, yes or no, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Um, regarding the question around, um, did we know about stopping humanization before um, it entered the market? No. Uh, these, um, you know, we had to really move at the speed of science to really understand what is taking place in the market. And from that point of view, we had to do everything at risk. Rob, this is a significant admission by Pfizer, is it not? Yes, it is. I think it's the first time that, um, that, that, that someone admitted this. And it's, it's an, it was an important question. I asked this question also to AstraZeneca and, and Moderna, um, but they, uh, they, make, they made a workaround and they didn't give me an answer. But Pfizer was very clear in, uh, in speaking out. And I think it's important because because of this narrative, uh, you have to, to do it to protect uh, your grandparents and you do it for others, you do it for all of society, all that, um, all, all the messages that was uh, brought by all the governments uh, in, here in the West. Um, that, because of that, the, the Corona pass was introduced and it had a significant uh, impact on people's lives. Mm -hmm. There were people who were not able to work, who lost their job, people who lost their businesses, uh, families were divided, and, and also friends. I think it's, um, yeah, and now it seems to be uh, a disinformation from uh, our government, our governments. Yeah. Well, if you d just to look at those governments, you'll remember that uh, Monsieur Macron in France said he wanted to emmerde the unvaccinated, which is a rather rude word, approximates to the English. He wanted to really piss them off. If you look at Canada, for example, if you were unvaccinated, you were forbidden from getting on an aeroplane or a train. Uh, in in Germ some German states, you were forbidden from going to the supermarket to buy food to keep yourself alive. And it appears that this lady from Pfizer is now saying at the time they introduced this, they never had any evidence that it would stop transmission of the virus. So where did all these governments get the idea to tell us you can't go anywhere if you're unvaccinated? Well, yeah, that is uh, exactly what I was looking for, because um, I am searching for this answer for two years now, and uh, because it had such an impact on people's life, I, I really wanted to know. And well, yeah, where is this coming from? Um, it seems to be disinformation from our government. So, well, th this is a, a really something that. Um, uh, the people who are responsible for this, in my opinion, eh, if the impact was huge on, on people's lives, I think uh, these people should be held responsible. Well, we've heard all this talk. I mean, it, it, as I'm sure you know, and, and you've been exposed to it as well, that if you question anything you're told by the government, people say you're not following the science. Uh, the lady from Pfizer basically just told you that there's no science behind any of these statements. That when people say you can't go into a restaurant and have a cup of coffee if you're unvaccinated, that that's just something that a government made up out of it, basically pulled it out of its own bottom and inflicted it on, on society. Yes, Exactly. Um, the, follow the science. And we still see that on, on all the social media. Um, if you make a post about, I'm in this COVID committee, so I try to, uh, to, to inform mm. people by uh, showing them the questions and the answers. We do not really get real answers, but this was exceptional and, and a very important one. Mm. Um, but if you make a post um, about COVID and about real questions you ask, you immediately get a sign uh, 
uh, beneath your post yeah. um, uh, about COVID, this COVID warning. Uh, they also removed me. I was cancelled from uh, LinkedIn by mm -hmm. exposing just simple questions. So it's still going on. And um, especially that it was that there is no scientific basis for this narrative. I think it's... Um, yeah, well, it, it, for me, it was uh, really surprising that I received this answer, but it's, it's very necessary that it has come out. We should never have any COVID passport again based on, on, on this so-called science.